Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to reveal our twin nursery. I'm so excited because this has taken me a long time to finish. Um, if you've been following my journey so far that you know that I had to temporarily relocate for half of my pregnancy to be monitored for twin to twin transfusion syndrome. And then once we were finally home with the twins, it was hard to take care of them and then also decorate. So I'm finally revealing our nursery. I'm finished and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. We do live in military housing, so there's some things we couldn't do, like paint the walls, but I still think everything turned out really cute, so um, let's jump into this nursery tour. I'm going to start with this kind of awkward corner behind the door and show you guys what I did with this weird area back here. So in this military housing, we have this built-in desk area, and so... I underneath just kind of made that our dwindling diaper stash. I have um, our different diapers back there and this leftover nightstand that was in this room when it was a guest room. So I just kind of use this for a little bit extra storage. Um, I just figured I'd keep it there just to throw things in that drawer. And then on top of this desk, I figured I'd make it kind of like a bookshelf area and extra counter space because we're lacking that in this room. So I put our books over here that we have for the girls. Um, and these books are standing with bookends that I got off of Amazon. They're light pink and they're really cute. I love them because they're really simple. They kind of disappear, but they have a rubbery bottom. So they kind of hold the books in place and they don't kind of slide and fall all over the place. So they were really affordable, super great. Next to that, I have this picture frame that says, read me a story, tuck me in tight, say a sweet prayer, kiss me goodnight. And I'm just waiting on my picture in the mail that I'm going to put in that frame. So it's kind of blank for now. Next to that, I have this little trinket box that has um, the girl's first wings that they got on their first flight home. And then it also has the little spoon that I used to announce to my husband that we were expecting. And then next to that, I have this little sign that says, sisters are the perfect best friend. And that was the first sister themed sign that I found that I really, really liked. Um, so I put that over here next to this decorated K that I got for my bridal shower, actually. Somebody uh, made that for me, gifted it to me, my sister, actually. And she's behind the camera right now. <laughs> and... Um, she made that for me and I kept it because I really loved it. So I thought it was perfect for the girls room because their names are Kaylee and Cora. So they start with K. So that went there. And then I also have their humidifier back here, which is perfect because it's hidden, but it still works for the whole room um, because of the door and this little space. So it's hidden back here. I love that. Um, it's out of the way, but still works great. And then on top, I got this sign from one of my friends. I think she made it because she's really crafty. It says, I love you more than I can bear. And I love this bear so much. He kind of went with the theme I was thinking for this room, which is very subtle. Like you wouldn't know I had a theme in here unless I pointed it out, which I am. But um, that bear is super cute. I actually have paint back here that I'm going to use to paint a little bow on this bear because this is the girl's room. So a little bit of paint to do that later on. Next, I'm going to talk about our diaper pail. So we have the Ubi diaper pail, and we absolutely love this diaper pail. Um, I like it because it locks in the smell. You do smell it when you open it, so I kind of like open it and shut it really quick. But being in this room, just being here, I don't smell the diapers at all. And we go through a lot of diapers, as you can imagine. So that's actually pretty great. Um, and we just fill those with regular garbage cans. Okay, next is this dresser changing area. I'm gonna be straight up. I absolutely copied this off of Pinterest. I'm truly not that creative and um, I just loved this idea off of Pinterest so much. So I just went ahead and did it. I think I did kind of make it my own though, so I'm really happy with it. Um, so this is the dresser changing area. I got this dresser from Ikea. Um, I knew I needed a big dresser because of course I have twins and I needed a lot of storage. Um, and I wanted something that was a good height to change the girls at. So I went with this dresser. I bought it off of my friend on the island and I'm super, super happy with it. It's actually kind of like an off-white color compared to the cribs, which you'll see soon. But um, yeah, this is great because there's not a whole lot of closet space in this room either. So this is super useful. 
This changing pad, um, I think we just picked something off of Amazon, something really simple, and the changing pad cover is also off of Amazon. I have two, so I change them out when I need to when they get dirty. Um, this mirror is from Ikea, and I love this mirror. I love that it's round. I love the color. The only thing that I'm kind of um, bothered by now is that this ledge kind of pokes out so the girls are starting to kick their feet up and they're already knocking into this mirror so I might have to change this out for something that's flush to the wall but regardless I'm really happy with the way that it looks aesthetically. On this side of the dresser I have this basket from Target filled with the diapers. I have size 2 for Kaylee and size 1 for Cora. I feel like this is just so much easier than to go into the drawer for me because I can quickly grab what I need. Um, I also have some Boudreaux's butt paste in here, one of these little butt paste applicators so that we don't get our hands dirty, and then I have a bunch of hand sanitizers in here. I have two of these Baby Gannix ones and a little Young Living hand sanitizer here. And then tucked in this is also our water wipes, um, which I love those. So this is super handy and I really love the wicker. I think it looks super cute. So I love having that up here, even though it does take up a lot of space. Next to that, I have the girls' diffuser. It's a little owl diffuser and super cute because it has different light settings and it also is a sound machine. So I turn that on during their naps during the day. They do nap in here um, once a day. So I turn that on with some calming oil and it's super great. Um, behind that, I just keep this vegetable oil complex so I can dilute oils and put them topically on the girls. Um, before anybody comes after me in the comments, I am educated about how to use those safely with babies and the dilution ratios and things like that. So if you have any questions about that, go ahead and ask me. Um, next to that is this super cute accessory rack that I got off of Amazon, I believe. Um, I love this accessory rack. I use it to put their bows on it and some of their pacifiers. I didn't know when I got this how tall it was going to be. I actually put the shelves on first before I even thought about buying this. So it does kind of knock into the shelves a little bit here, but it's okay because it still kind of fits in this corner. And then it also houses their essential oils. So this is super handy. Um, it takes up minimal space, but it makes it look really cute to kind of display some of their bows that I love putting them in. And then on top of the dresser, I have these two shelves. I think I got these shelves off of Wayfair. I can't remember where I bought these, but I'll link them in the description box below. Um, they're just simple white. They kind of disappear into the wall, which I really, really like. And on this first shelf, I have Cora's ultrasound picture in this cute little gold frame I got at, I think, TJ Maxx or something in Denver. Um, and then I have this little cactus. He's actually a real and he's super cute, a little fuzzy guy in this really cute white ceramic um, pot. And then I have this letter board here that has the girls' birth stats on it. Um, I just like to display that to kind of just remember that day. Um, so yeah, I have that there. And then on the top shelf, I have Kaylee's ultrasound picture in the same little gold frame that I have down here. I just did really subtle gold accents throughout this whole space, which you'll see. And then I have another wood frame. That one's from Target and it comes on a little black stand. Um, so it kind of made it a little bit higher. And I have one of the girls' newborn pictures up there. And then next to it, I have this little block sign that I love. This is the second one I found. Originally, I was gonna put the black one that was over there up here. But when I found this pink one, I was in love and I thought that was perfect. And it says, I love that you're my sister. Um, so it goes really well. And then I have this plant up here. This is a real plant that my friend um, kind of put together for me. I got this pot from Walmart, so really affordable. And I love it. Um, this plant eventually is going to kind of drape down and hang. So it'll be a nice touch of greenery in this space. Okay, and then in this corner, I have this little accordion rack that houses all of my ring slings. So I'm super obsessed with ring slings. I have four, as you can see. I have two Hope and Plum, which are these um, neutral colors. This pink one right here is a wild bird ring sling. And then that one over there is Love Held. So um, Love Held was actually my first one, and I loved it so, so much. Um, 
and then the other ones I just kind of have bought here and there and they're just so easy to put the girls in so love those and they look really cute hung up on the floor I kind of have this basket that um, I got a long time ago my mom got it for me probably at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx one of those places and it has a K on it so K for the girls and it just houses all of their swaddle blankets. I just found that the easiest to see what I have, see what kind of swaddle blanket I feel like putting them in depending on how hot it is in the room or um, what the girls are wearing. So I just have that there, which is super handy. Next, I'm just gonna talk about what I have in the drawers really quickly. And I also wanna point out that I changed the knobs on this Ikea dresser. Um, they usually come with black knobs, but I didn't want too much black in this space. I wanted it really bright and airy. So I changed those knobs out to these really cute white ceramic knobs, and they have a little gold accent in the back. So again, with the gold, just bring in a little touch here and there. In this first drawer, it's kind of the diaper drawer because it's right under the changing um, station. I don't go for these diapers that much because, like I said, I find it easier just to grab from the basket. But in this drawer, I kind of keep the next size up. So these are size 2. Kaylee's in size 2 now pretty much, so I will move these into the basket once Cora is also in size 2. And then I just have a bunch of Young Living seedlings wipes and the bags for the Ubi diaper pail. Then in this drawer, I kind of keep some of the baby care items I have, like their seedlings um, bath wash. In this drawer, I have hair brushes and brushes to like use in the bath, um, nail clips. I have this little container, which is not that cute. I've had this forever. But I have this container full of Q-tips. I have to like hide those because our cats love q-tips and then over here I just have some um, thermometers and medicine and the nose thing that you suck the boogers out with <laughs> um, and back here is just some extra baby Ganex products and aquaphor and things like that then in this drawer underneath there is where I keep the girls clothes so I tried to organize this with these little baskets that I got off of Amazon um, I believe they're actually Ikea brands, so this is probably one of the only products Ikea sells on Amazon. Um, so they fit perfectly in this dresser. What I've done is I've organized their pants in this little one right here. Um, and then in this one back here, I have some of their short sleeve onesies and these little diaper cover thingies. Um, and then in this one is kind of all of their long sleeve onesies, which we're about done with. So this drawer is pretty much all zero to three months. Um, Kaylee is basically out of zero to three months. She's in three to six, but Cora is still in um, zero to three. So it kind of makes it hard because personally, I like to dress the girls matching. Uh, I just have this, this obsession about things being even and equal. So I know things won't always be that way, but I just feel better when they're kind of in the same thing. So um, as you'll see, I have double of a lot of outfits and yeah, so that's that drawer. Underneath this drawer, in this bigger drawer, I have, well, this is the rest of their clothes, actually. Um, usually I would just keep the next size up just in this drawer, but they don't really have much in um, 6 to 9, 9 to 12, and all those other sizes. So down here, I just kind of have some of their pants that they're going to fit in during the summer. These, like, really cute baby shorts, um, some different outfits. These are some... Um, outfits back there so that's pretty much the next size three to six and then I know this is like six month size and some bigger socks and stuff for them and then right here is where I keep all of their bibs this whole basket right here is bibs they do have a lot which is good because I have two girls so um, every time I I need a bib for them I just get a clean one so I'm constantly washing bibs um, but those fit perfectly right there and then next I'll go into this drawer here, which is super fun. This is another like accessory drawer. So um, right here in this first little bin, I have extra bows. So all of their little headband bows didn't fit on here. So I kind of put them right here to grab easily. These are more like holiday bows and fall bows, which we're not using right now. So those will stay there until it's time for them to wear them. In this basket back here, I have some of their like headband bows. Um, these guys that I got off of Amazon, so those I like them, but I I like these ones better These are pretty much all little poppy co um, 
and then right here I have some more of their pacifiers um, just all different kinds of pacifiers they usually use the Ryan and Rose but like for naps they'll use these advent ones without the clips on them and then I also have some like teethers in here for them to use in case I need to give something to them while they're chain being changed and I also have these little fruit things that you freeze and then they can suck on it when they're teething so that stuff is just in that drawer this last little drawer over here houses all of their socks their little baby mittens um, and then the, these adorable little keepsakes that my mother-in-law got them um, so those I'll use when it comes time to use them next this drawer right here has all their little footed pajamas and sleepwear pretty much these are like um, these are pretty much all zero to three. So this drawer is basically gonna be empty soon as soon as they grow out of that size completely. These are kind of like thinner footed jammies and these are fleece jammies, which it's starting to get too warm in Alaska to wear these, especially in the sleep sack that I put the girls in. When I put them in that and then this, they're just way too hot. So I usually put them in these little thinner ones now. And um, yeah, these are like little bath ones, so cute oh and then I just divided these with this divider that I got off of Amazon so it kind of keeps everything organized and in its own little section last drawer so in this drawer over here um, I just kind of have all of these like burp rags every time I burp the girls I grab a new rag so constantly washing those too these are just little muslin rags which are super soft and I really like those um, this little thing has all their bath stuff, washcloths, towels, these are extra changing pad covers, and then these are more burp rags. We were gifted these absolutely beautiful burp rags, and I can't bring myself to use them, but I will soon. I, I will. It's just, they're just so beautiful. I don't want to mess them up. Um, and then an extra twinsy pillow cover. So those are all the dresser drawers. Okay, next moving, um, away from the dresser, I have... The curtains over here, I actually don't know where I got these curtains. I think my mom gave them to me. I'm really not sure, but I just found them in my closet. So they're perfect for this room. They're just kind of a white and they have this little bit of a shimmery sheen to it. So they're really pretty. Um, and the black rod is just from uh, Walmart. So just super simple up there. A little bit of black in this room, but not too much. Then I have this rocker here, which my mother-in-law got for us. Um, I love this rocker. It's so comfortable. Um, it also has this little ottoman which has storage. I just keep the girls extra blankets in here um, And actually their swaddles from their newborn um, Pictures I have their names on this this swaddle is actually kind of the inspiration I had for this room I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a girly woodland themed um, I wanted to get these sheets for their cribs, but I couldn't bring myself to buy them because they're so expensive so I did it, but this was my idea behind the room with a little bit of gold accents. So that's the ottoman right there. Um, this pillow is from Target from the Hearth and Home collection. Love that little bit of pink there. And then in the corner back here, I put a little picture frame that I got off of Amazon. It has the gold accent and it has the girls' newborn pictures in there. The top is Kaylee, the middle is both of them, and the bottom is Cora. So I love those pictures so much. I originally wanted to put those pictures behind, or not behind, but underneath their name signs here, but I couldn't find frames that I liked that wouldn't be too overpowering to the name signs, so I just put that in the corner instead. And then we also have their um, little monitor, their video monitor here. I have to put that hanging up somewhere. I really don't want that on the crib, obviously. It's kind of a hazard with the, the cord and everything, but um, they really don't spend a lot of time in this room yet, so I haven't quite gotten there. Um, then these cribs my mom got for us, and she got all of the bedding and the mattresses too. I can't remember where everything is from, but I know the cribs are from Wayfair, I'm pretty sure. We live on an island in Alaska, so it's really hard to get product here. Um, I didn't really have a lot of options, but I really do love these cribs. They're just plain white and they are convertible. So they go to toddler beds and I think also twin beds. So I definitely wanted that because it's more bang for your buck. Um, the sheets on the beds are just Aiden and I, just a cotton muslin material and they're just white. So I love that. These name signs are probably my favorite thing in the room. I'm so obsessed with them. I got these off of Etsy 
and they have the girls first and middle names so Kaylee Joy and Coraline and they just have this dark stain around it and I just think it's so beautiful and simple and really completes this room um, these blankets that are on the cribs I think my mom got them these I don't know where they're from probably like TJ Maxx or something like that so yeah these are their cribs I got the cribs to fit perfectly in here it was a tight squeeze but we made it work it's a really teeny tiny nursery but I think that it's um, it, it works well so the last part of this nursery tour is the closet space we don't have a lot of closet space in this room so it's kind of messy I have two girls like I've said multiple times so I have a lot of stuff that I have to fit in here so I will show you what I did with it um this is the closet so in this closet I have some of their nicer outfits that are hanging up and I have them divided by these little size dividers they're supposed to hang on the bar but they're too big they knock into this piece of wood on the top so I just kind of put them on a hanger just so I kind of know what size is what um, so those outfits are up there up here don't mind all that that's up there this is like my wedding dress because I have nowhere else in this house to put it and they have some other things up here that I have to store so um, so everything that's there is pretty much down here in here I have this little cube organizer which I think is from Target I also bought that off of my friend who sold me the dresser and I just bought these little tan baskets from Walmart they fit perfectly in there and pretty much these three on the bottom um, have stuffed animals <laughs> they have a lot of stuffed animals because I kept a lot of mine throughout the years because I knew I wanted to give some of my favorite ones to my kids one day so I um, have a lot of those of mine in here that are now theirs and then in this basket right here I just have some extra stuff for the car seats like extra car seat covers and their little blanket that I take their monthly pictures on um, and then in this basket on the top I have some of their other accessories these are like beanies and and little shoes and little socks that they have that are a little bit more dressy um, right here is my diaper bag. I'm not much of a bag person and um, my two of my friends actually have this diaper bag and I wanted something exactly the same. Really inexpensive off of Amazon. This is the brand Sunveno, Sunvino. I don't know how to say that but um, it's a great diaper bag. It just fits a lot of stuff in there and it's neutral so love that. Over here in this corner I have the girls high chairs which obviously they're not using right now because they're going to be three months old this week so they're not quite ready for those but they will be soon and then I also store their um, stroller seats that eventually they'll be using those too so that'll free up some space in here as well and then those buckets on the bottom I just have some of their newborn clothes and the top one are more stuffed animals that were mine um, and then these bags are just like um, pumping things feeding things like bowls when they get to that and back here they just have um, some little playmat stuff. So that is pretty much everything that's in this closet. It's a little bit crammed, but I think it works pretty well. Somebody woke up from her nap a little bit early. So this is Cora. She's doing a little cameo in the video today. Um, so yeah, that is it for this nursery tour. I can't believe that it's finally done. I've been looking forward to this video for a long time and actually having a nursery to put babies in obviously for a long time so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up um, please consider subscribing and we will catch you in the next one bye <laughs> she's a stuffed animal hoarder <laughs>